one, Nathan here again with another True Tech troubleshooting tutorial. So I have some big news today. I want to announce uh, a method to make your dynamic PDFs mobile. In the past, I've had a lot of questions about this topic. Um, why can't lifecycle forms be used on mobile devices such as iOS devices or Android tablets or etc.? And in the past, it was impossible. And then with the release of Lifecycle ES4, there was a rumor that mobile forms were finally arriving with the advent of HTML5 PDF forms. The problem with that was um, Adobe, in order to, to produce those, requires you to purchase Lifecycle Server. And that starts in the range of $90,000, which is completely out of my market and most of my subscribers market. So we just had to wait and see what was going to happen. Well, the wait is over. Uh, I've got a way now to take all the forms that we've been doing on all the videos up until now and make them mobile without any altering of the form at all. It's more about the device you use and it's not at all about the forms themselves. In the past, iOS, Android, and other mobile devices like Windows RT or Windows CE or other mobile versions of Windows, the apps that would run the forms, in other words, the Adobe Reader that was in those operating systems was not a full version of Adobe Reader. So when you ran a dynamic form, you would get something like we see on the screen here. You would get, let's if we download this sample form from my site, PDF Forms Help, and then launch it in the browser, you'll get this message, please wait. If this message is not eventually replaced by the proper context of the document, your PDF viewer may not be able to display this type of document. And you get that. And of course I have an iPhone here, and I want to go ahead and demonstrate the same thing on my iPhone. Same message. And that would happen on an iPad, or an iOS device or an Android device. So the big break now is Windows 8.1 on mobile tablets can be put in a full version. And so to demonstrate that, I have a Dell Venue 8 inch tablet right here. And I have the full version of Adobe Reader installed, right like that. And so now I'm going to go to the Chrome browser and I'm going to load the same thing I tried to load on the, the desktop over there. So here we have the same website, my website, pdfformshelp.com. I'm going to go to the form flow tab, and I'm going to download the sample PDF just like I did on the desktop a minute ago. And of course, in the Chrome browser, it does not load, just like it doesn't load in the Chrome browser on the desktop. But if I open it up in bear with me here, if I open it up in Reader, So I'm navigating to the Downloads folder, and clicking on Form Letter Sample. It keeps reorienting. Hopefully you can see now it loaded fully on a mobile device. And I can tap on things. I can fill out. I can sign, digitally sign the thing if I want to. Um, all everything you can do 
on a PC, on a laptop, on a computer, desktop, whatever, can be done now on a mobile device. And the problem for, for years has been, people have been asking me, why can't I take these out into the field? You know, people want to make a form for, let's say you're an insurance adjuster and you want to go out and, and uh, you, with your mobile device, fill out the form as you're on site. It couldn't be done. Or if you, it, you had to take a laptop out there with you. Now we have a full version of Adobe Reader on a mobile device and it works. Here's the gotcha though you must have Windows 8.1, the full version. And the Dell Venue, the reason I bought this one, it was the cheapest tablet I could find that would, lo would load Windows 8.1. It cannot be Windows RT, Windows 8 RT, Windows CE, any of the, the netbook versions of Windows. It has to be a full version of Windows to make this work. So try it out. Go out and get you a tablet. I recommend this Dell Venue. It's a nice little tablet screen's only 8 inches. There's an 11 inch model as well. But go out and get one and now start using your your PDFs on mobile devices. Hope this helps you guys. Hope uh, you're excited as I am about this. It's been a long time waiting. At least I think four years for me. And remember that IT problems are usually simple but they're never easy. We'll see you next time.